Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science, Adayar, Chennai. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to prepare a cost sheet when we have a hidden information. To have more understanding on how to prepare the cost sheet for other occasions, watch my previous videos by clicking the I button. Let me check one problem, how to prepare the cost sheet with the hidden information. Okay. Compute the cost of raw material purchase from the data given below. We have opening stock of raw materials, it is 10,000. Closing stock of raw materials, 15,000. Expenses on purchases 5,000, direct pages 50,000, prime cost 1 lakh. Usually, the prime cost information will not be given in the problem. That information is given in the problem. Instead of that prime cost calculation, the problem asks that question calculate the cost of raw material purchased. Purchase, they are asking about the value of the purchase of raw materials for that only the hidden information is available in this problem is prime cost so this is a kind of problem where we have a hidden information to calculate the particular question okay let me check out the solution how to prepare a cost sheet based on the information given in this question and how to calculate the purchase have a four column there is two columns particulars and amount opening so this is a cost sheet format already i uh, taught in the previous uh, videos opening stock of raw materials given in the problem 10000 plus purchases that is the question that's why i mentioned in yellow color and put it in the brackets as question mark okay so this only i'm going to calculate so plus expenses on purchase which is given in the problem expenses on purchase is given in the problem as 5000 that's what i posted here okay and then if i have the opening stock of raw materials plus purchases plus expense of purchases this summation i will get some amount without knowing the purchases how can i get this summation okay so you will understand the yellow color uh, things i have to calculate after getting the information from the prime cost calculations okay so i put question mark this and all also minus closing stock of raw materials 15000 then after deducting the closing stock of raw materials i'll get one resulting answer that and all also at present i don't know so just that's that's why i put a question mark that resulting answer name is what it is as per the cost format cost of raw materials consumed okay and then plus direct wages so direct wages I have the information, the direct wages of the problem 50,000. Then I brought over here 50,000. Prime cost information is also given the problem that is 1 lakh. Now look uh, very carefully how I proceed with the problem to get the answer of the purchase. See, if the prime cost is 1 lakh, if the direct wages is 50,000, what could be this amount? Cost of raw materials consumed, if it is 50,000, then I have to add the direct 50,000. Then only I will get the answer 1 lakh. So, in that place, if there is 50,000 means, then only I will get 1 lakh after adding the direct wages. So, probably the cost of raw materials consumed must be 50,000. I found out this answer. Can you even understand? If there is 50,000 only means, I should add the direct wages 50,000, then uh, the resulting answer will be prime cost. Prime cost is given in the information, given in the question itself. So if the prime cost is 1 lakh, if the direct wages is 50,000, then what could be my cost of raw materials consumed? 50,000. Okay, I found out this first question mark. Right? Then minus closing stock of raw materials, 15,000 here it is given. Then what could be this amount? If I am deducting 15,000 from some amount, the resulting answer will be 50,000 means what could be that amount 65000 if there is 65000 
65,000 is the summation of operating stock raw materials, purchases and expenses. If the summation is 65,000, then only I deduct 15,000 as a closing stock, then the resulting answer will be cost of raw materials consumed 50,000. Okay, so this summation will be 65,000. So if the summation is 65,000, after adding opening stock purchase and expenses means what could be the purchase the opening stock is 10,000 then expense on purchase is 5,000 so 15,000 minus 65,000 what could be my purchase so this is the uh, small problem how i will calculate the answers with the hidden information as per this problem the hidden information is prime cost with this hidden information how i calculated the answer this is one of the cost sheet model with the hidden information okay look at the next problem the books of other manufacturing company present the following data for the month of april 1992 okay we have direct labor cost 17500 being 175 percentage of works over there. So we have two information in this statement. What is the direct labor cost? 17,500 being 175 percentage of works overhead means what is the works overhead value? We can able to calculate 175 percentage is equal to 17,500 means 100 percentage is equal to what means? Then we'll be able to calculate works overhead. Look at the solution. How I calculate this value alone? So look at that. 175 percentage is equal to 17,500 means this calculations I am making to know the works over it, right? Some 175 percentage is equal to 17,500 means 100 percentage is equal to what? So 100 into 17,500 into 175 cost multiplication means then I'll come to know what is my works over it. My works over it is seven. Uh, that is 10,000. So, by looking at this statement, direct labor cost 70,500 being 175 percent of the works over it, I'll come to know what is the value of the works over it. Okay, so there are there are two information available in this statement. Next, cost of goods sold excluding administration expenses 56,000. Okay, so what you understood by reading this statement means my cost of goods sold excluding administration expenses is 56,000. So in order to know the cost of goods sold, the true value means I should add the administration expenses. Okay, so 56,000 plus administration expense, what is given the problem? 2,500. So 56,000 plus 2,500, 58,500 is my cost of production of goods sold. So I came to know this information also by reading this uh, statement and understand and calculate the Cost of production of goods sold 56,000 plus 2,500, then 58,500 is my cost of production of goods sold. So I got four information by reading these statements. Next, look at the information. We have April 1, April 30th information about the raw materials, work in progress, finished goods. There are other data also available selling expenses, general administration expenses, and sales for the month. The question is, Compute the value of material purchase. So we need to calculate the amount of purchase by working out this problem and whatever hidden information is available. The second question is prepare a cost statement showing the various elements of cost and also profit earned. So we need to prepare the entire cost sheet format. Okay. I think uh, I told the cost sheet format. I taught you the cost sheet format in the previous videos. Click the i button to watch my previous video to get an idea about how to prepare the cost sheet now look at the solution and then i have three columns particulars amount and another amount or column and then first as per the format what is the opening stock of raw materials i written over there so my advice is always uh, just show the format as per the format whatever will come and write the particulars and if the amount is available in the question write the amount if the amount is not given in the question just put a question mark okay
can you able to follow whatever information is available write that amount respective amount if the amount is not available for any particulars put the question mark so based on that i put the question mark in the problem and i shaded in yellow color to have a more understanding for you okay and then so raw materials opening as showed here plus purchase of raw materials is not given that's why i put a question mark okay again i put one more question mark because this two uh, amounts summation will come as one amount so if i don't know the purchase then how can i know this two summations that's why that two summation also i put it as the question mark you could have asked question ma'am why you are not showing the expense on purchase of raw materials if the expense of purchase of raw materials is specifically given only we will we need to write right and then so expenses on purchase of raw materials if it is given specifically then only we need to write to try to understand it so but by default the format opening stock of raw materials plus purchase will come so opening stock of raw materials is given in the question but purchase of raw materials is the question we need to calculate i put the question mark and then this two summations i don't know that's why i put a question mark and minus raw materials minus raw materials given the problem 10600 i written over there then after doing this adjustments the resulting answer name is called as cost of raw materials consumed that is also i don't know at present that's why i put question mark so by looking at this solution you will understand clearly whatever information av available with the amounts i showed the amount whatever is not available the information is not available the amount is not available i mentioned in question mark along with the yellow color okay to have more understanding plus direct labor it is given then after adding the direct labor i will get prime cost that answer also i do not present now okay so put a question mark plus works over it. we did a calculation we calculate the works over it as 10000 so after adding the works over it the resulting answer is gross work cost because we have the opening work in progress and closing work in progress so gross work cost also i don't know okay opening work in progress i write the amount okay i will write the amount opening work in progress 10000 and the next after adding the opening work in progress with the gross work cost i will get one summation that also i put a question mark right minus closing work in progress uh, it is given in the problem 14500 next is net work cost is the resulting answer that also i do not question plus office overheads the office overheads given the problem as general and administration expenses like the that amount i written over here then after adding the general administration expenses the resulting answer name is cost of production that is 59900 okay that also not available in the problem cost of production is not available opening stock of finished goods is given so after adding the opening stock i will get summation that also i don't know minus closing stock of finished goods is given in the problem i written over there from this stage only i will start calculating the answers whatever i mark it as i notified as question mark okay so cost of production of goods sold 56000 given in the problem in the paragraph excluding administration expenses so i have to add the 2000 final the administration expenses in order to know the cost of production of goods sold okay so 58500 so with this answer i'll start calculating the previous uh that is preceding question marks okay so 58500 and minus closing stock is 19000 means what could be this amount okay so this amount will be 77500 minus 19000 then only i'll get 58500 so how i got 77500 means 58500 plus 19000 the summation is 77500 if there is 77500 then only i will deduct the closing stock 19000 the resulting answer will be cost of production of goods sold 58500 right so i got the first answer 77500 is the summation of cost of production and the opening stock means 
what could be the cost of production. So 77,500 minus 17,600, then I'll get the cost of production as 59,900, right? If I got the cost of production as 59,900 means, what could be the net cost? 59,900 minus 2,500, 57,400 is my network cost. If the net work cost is 57,400, then what could be the summation of gross work cost and opening work cost means 71,900, right? How I got 71,900, 57,400 plus 14,500, the summation is 71,900. So I, the thing is, I started calculating the answers which I marked earlier as question mark from the answer of cost of production of goods sold. One by one, I'm calculating the preceding question marks. I'm calculating one by one, okay? So now I calculate the summation of the gross work cost with my opening work in progress, okay? Then what could be the gross work cost? If the summation is 71,900 means, what could be the gross work cost? 61,400, right? If the gross work cost is 61,400, what could be the prime cost? 61,400 minus 10,000, 51,400. If that is 51,400 as prime cost, then only you add the works over 10,000. The answer will be 61,400. So if the prime cost is 51,400, what could be the value of cost of raw materials consumed? 33,900. You can check out 51,400 minus 17,500, 33,900. So 33,900 plus direct labor 17,500, you will get 51,400. So if I got the value cost of raw materials consumed as 33,900 means what could be the value of the uh, summation of purchase and raw materials means 44,500. So the summation of purchase and raw materials 44,500 means what could be the value of purchase. So the moral of the story of this kind of cost sheet with the hidden information is just write the cost sheet format whatever information is available with the amounts post that amount whatever information you are that uh, amounts are not available in the question put the question mark and where you will proceed to calculate the answer like in this problem i started calculating answers from the cost of production of goods sold right so by using this amount 58500 i calculate the started calculating the question marks what i notified as i don't know that i started calculating one by one by the preceding answers okay so if that is 58 500 means what could be this amount what could be that amount and what could be the cost of production what could be the network cost like that i can start calculating one by one answers okay so i calculated the purchase so after calculating the purchase now my problem is not at over so cost of production of goods sold, what is the last final step to add the selling over it? Selling over it is given this problem 3,500. So what's my total cost or cost of sale? 62,000. So total cost 62,000 and sales given in the problem. What is the sales? 75,000. So 75,000 is the sales means what will be the profit? 75,000 minus 62,000. This is my profit 13,000. So this is the problem model under cost sheet with the hidden information okay so the thing is again i'm highlighting you just write whatever information available with the amounts and use the information hidden informations hidden information in this problem is cost of production goods sold so by using this hidden information cost of production goods sold i started calculating the preceding answers okay so this is the one of the cost sheet with the hidden information problem and then uh, thank you for watching this video subscribe my channel click the bell button see you soon in the next video